In this snip, you'll learn how to send an email with PowerShell. The first thing that we need to do is set some of the default system preferences like the SMTP server, the SMTP port, and our credentials. In my case, I'll use my personal email account. Once you've set your credentials, the server and port, we can go ahead and get started creating our emails. I like to use splatting for my parameters because there are a lot involved with the send mail message commandlet. Again, we'll need to specify that SMTP server, the SMTP port. In my case, use SSL needs to be set to true based on my email settings. I'll also specify my credentials. Here, we'll also set our from account and our to account. And at minimum, in order to send an email, you need to have just a subject. So let me go ahead and set these parameters, and I'll go ahead and send that email. Once sent, we can go ahead and check our email account and see that, yep, I do indeed have that email, and it has that exact subject. Let's go back to the code. Of course, sending emails with only a subject isn't too much fun. We can go ahead and add bodies to our email as well. In this case, uh, we'll just specify the body parameter in addition to all of our other previously specified parameters. When I send my email this time, we'll also see that there's content in the body. And here we have our email, and we do have some content in the body. Let's go back to the code one last time. One other thing we can do is send HTML within the body of our emails. So again, I'll set my parameters, and this time I'll specify in my body an h1 and a bold tag for HTML. When I use my send mail message commandlet this time, you'll notice that I have my body as HTML switch selected as well. Let's go ahead and send that email. And we can see that we do have a formatted email with a non-default text. Now let's figure out how to send attachments. One of the main reasons why we'd want to send an email with PowerShell is to generate, say, log file submission or any kind of alerting. And usually we'd want to attach other items to that. Logging is really the obvious example, but suppose there was any other like content or maybe an affected file that you wanted to send. You can go ahead and actually specify the attachments parameter. And uh, by specifying that, you will also send that uh, as an attachment in your email. So uh, we'll go ahead and once again, set our parameters and we'll send that email. And once that sends, we'll hop over to our email client and check it out. Let's go ahead and dive in. And you can see there is our example log file. So as you can see, um, it's pretty easy to send emails with attachments, uh, with a body and with nobody at all. Um, you do have lots of options with a send mail message, so feel free to use them. Thanks for watching.